Hi guys, I'm back and pregnant with baby number four. I'm currently 18 weeks, five days pregnant. Oh, where should I start? I haven't been on here for a long time. Um, I think my last time I was on YouTube was when I had my baby, my baby girl. And I think I was doing like a one week um, baby and postpartum update. And I wanted to keep you guys updated on her and me, but... Things were just so crazy at the time. My kids had just started school. They go to two different schools and um, they got would get in and get out at different times. So it was just, it, it's crazy. It still is crazy. That's why I haven't updated you guys sooner on this pregnancy. Um, but I'm here and I'm going to try to update you guys as much as I can. I don't guarantee doing it weekly, but um, I'm going to try and do it as much as I can. So let me get started to how I found out I was pregnant, symptoms from the um, first trimester up till now. Um, so I found out I was pregnant um, November 29th. Um, I took a home pregnancy test and it was positive. Um, and I decided to take a test because I had not gotten my period since October 9th. I had just stopped um, breastfeeding, I think. At the beginning, like at the beginning of um, October, I think it was. Um, so I didn't know if it was because of the breastfeeding I didn't get a menstrual cycle or what. Because um, this, when I, while I was breastfeeding Camila, um, I would get periods, but not every month. So I just wanted to take one because um, I had also been feeling like a loss of appetite and um a little bit nauseous so it just i just decided to take one and it came out positive this baby was not planned um we were considering having a fourth but not until about two more years but it happened sooner and um we accept this blessing we're happy um so yeah um so all around december on december 4th actually i got really nauseous um I couldn't keep anything down. I was getting dehydrated. I was shaky. Um, so I just decided to go to the emergency room. At the emergency room, they gave me Zofran. And they had me like chewing on ice to see if I could keep that down. And they decided to do a ultrasound. And they told me I was um, around five weeks. And all they could see was... Um, a egg sac or yolk sac something like that and they told me everything looked fine and to just follow up with my ob so i called my ob they didn't want to give me an appointment so early on so from the dates i gave them they were from the dates the hospital gave them they thought um i was they gave me an appointment for when i was around nine weeks so i went in they um gave me an ultrasound and um, when they did the ultrasound, they showed that the baby was showing it um, wasn't nine weeks. It was actually 10 weeks, two days. So they gave me the due date and my due date is July 30th. Um, so I'm having a summer baby. Um, and they gave me pictures of the baby. And here is the baby when it was um, 10 weeks, two days old. That was the first ultrasound I had. And um, for symptoms for the first trimester, from about five weeks to about 16 weeks, I had been really nauseous. I would throw up every morning. After a meal, I had to sit down for about 30 minutes so the food could stay down. I couldn't walk into a grocery store. It was just really hard. Um, and these past two weeks, I've been feeling great. This morning, actually, I felt a little bit nauseous, but I didn't throw up or anything. I was just a little bit nauseous for about 10, 15 minutes, and then it went away. Um, also, I've been so sleepy um, since about week five um, up until now. I still have been so sleepy. I don't know if it's because I have three kids and I'm cleaning constantly. I'm picking one up, go chasing my toddler around, then picking up the other kid, dropping off the other kid at school. I just don't know if it's the pregnancy or if it's everything together, but I'm so sleepy. I pass out during the day sometimes. I sit on the couch and um, I put some TV on for my daughter and um, I just pass out. And I feel so bad when I wake up because 
it's just me and her alone and you never know with a toddler they could get into things i try not to keep anything um dangerous in her reach but you never know she could trip she could fall you just don't know um so that's been really scary um i try not to pass out i always put an alarm on for like 20 to 30 minutes so if i do pass out um it's not for too long um and i can wake up with the alarm um also for the nausea um they had me taking unisom and vitamin b6 at night to help for the nausea and it did not work so i just stopped taking that completely um and for the past about three weeks i have been getting up like around five in the morning and i just cannot get back to sleep i toss i turn I close my eyes and I'm just like, please go back to sleep. And I just can't get back to sleep. And it's so frustrating uh, because I feel so tired. And um, I've been considering taking Unisom again. But I know when I was taking it, um, it didn't even help me um, sleep better. So I don't know if I should try it again or not. Um, but if it gets worse, I might try try it again. Um, what else? I try writing down everything. That's why I keep um looking down because it's been 18 weeks and so much could happen in 18 weeks. So, um, I did my NT, um, testing and ultrasound and, um, everything was fine. I did that around, I think when I was, I have the pictures right here. I was 13 weeks, one day pregnant when I did the ultrasound. And, um, I did not like the ultrasound technician. She seemed like, she kept on saying, oh, the baby's not in position. Like, she kept on complaining about the baby. And then she had me always, like, moving around, going to the bathroom, then coming back. And then she kept on complaining that my bladder was too full. And I'm like, okay, you guys told me to have a full bladder. I just did not like that technician. I hope I do not get her for my 20-week anatomy scan. But um, the good thing is the baby's healthy. Um, the blood work came back and everything looks negative. Um, so that's good news. Um, what else? Um, as you guys, if you've been with me, you guys know that I've had gestational diabetes in um, two of my other pregnancies. In my first pregnancy, I didn't have it. With my second and my third, I did. Um and they started having me um, just randomly like test twice a week um, my fasting levels. And I noticed that they were starting to go up around, when was it? Around like six, 15, 16 weeks. So um, they sent me to the um, nutritionist and she told me, okay, we're just going to keep an eye on it. You know, let's try to get more sleep at night. Um eat a snack before bed and see if that helps and last week my numbers were so high for fasting so I went to go see the um, nutritionist yesterday and she decided that it was time for me to start on Humulin which is like insulin so um, I just started it last night um, I hate it I have to inject my um, tummy every night um, so that's what I started on last night um, also, what else? So I'm going to have my 20-week um, anatomy scan March 13th, and I'm hoping to find out the gender. Um, when I did my um, NT scan, um, my husband swears that he saw a boy part, and he told the um, technician, but as I said, the technician was... I don't know if she didn't like us. I don't know what, but she just, when my husband said, oh, you know, can you check the gender? Because when, um, my, well, he said that when I was pregnant with my son, the technician, uh, checked and told us it was a boy at our NT scan. So he was telling her that and she just kept on saying, oh, it's too early. It's too early. And, um, she didn't even try looking, but Want you to like move the baby to like measure the to put it in a position to measure the um for the NT. He said that he saw a boy part, but I don't know. I feel like I'm having a boy, um, but I don't know. I don't. I don't really care what I'm having. I just want the baby to be healthy. If I'm having a girl, that would be awesome because I have all the baby Camila's clothes still. Um, 
I haven't gotten rid of them as she's only 17 months. I still have them um, stored away. So if not, I could go out and buy boy clothes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, so I'll, I'm planning, I don't think I'll update you guys next week, but when I do the um, anatomy scan and I found out the gender, um, I'll update you then. Um, I might do, my kids want me to do like a gender reveal with them because I'm going to be going by myself to the appointment because my husband's going to take care of my um, daughter while I go because I know if I go there with a 17 month old, she's just going to get fussy and make noise and I think it's just better for me to go alone. So what I'm planning on doing is going right after the ultrasound to go get um, a balloon and have them put confetti in. If, the, if it's a boy, you know, blue. And if it's a girl, pink. Or if they don't do that where I live, um, just get like pink balloons or blue balloons and like put them in a box or something because my kids want me to surprise them. Uh, my son's really hoping for a, a, a boy. Um, he really wants a brother. My daughter wants another sister, but she says it's fine if we have a boy. So they're really excited that pretty soon we'll be finding out. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Um, also, no, I always say that's about it. And then I know I'm forgetting something for weight. I think I started off at like 170 or 172 this pregnancy. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, and right now I weigh like 173, so I've only gained about a pound and they only want me to gain, I think they said 10 to 15 pounds this pregnancy. Um, I, my last pregnancy I only gained like seven pounds and the previous one, I think it was only like six pounds because they have me on a strict diet with the diabetes and, um, I really like want my baby not to get, you know, addicted to the sugar and I just um, take really good care of myself, um, knowing that I have the gestational diabetes. But for some reason, my belly is huge. Um, I don't know if it's because it's my fourth, but I feel like I'm huge. And um, I don't understand how I've only gained like a pound and a half this in 18 weeks for my belly. You know, it looks so huge. Let me see if I can get you a shot of it. But here, here's my belly. So, I'm sorry about all the noise in the background, but I have my kids in the living room watching TV. I have my toddler right here in my room making a mess. Um, so, I'll update you guys uh, around March 13th or 14th, the next other day after I have my ultrasound. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, please subscribe. Bye.